Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. I'm going to be doing a basic shelter series. I'm going to start with the knots first. So I keep all my ridgeline components in this small bag. Uh, this is a prototype bag. The newer bags are a little bit larger and it actually holds the entire shelter system at once. So a small tarp will go in here also. But for me and my purposes, uh, because this is a prototype, I've got stakes, uh, lines to uh, put up a tarp, lines to fly a tarp, and everything I need is in this one handy bag. So I've got another video on my channel on the Siberian hitch. Uh, I've got mittens on. It's super cold out when I did it. Uh, this is the Avink hitch, which is the exact same knot. So this is how my ridgeline comes out. Uh, it's got a clove hitch around it nice and tight setup and then I can pull out what I need so I'm gonna go around my base tree I usually set it up right about the base of my ribs this is going to be an, uh, a certain height that is going to change for you depending on the environment if it's super cold super windy I'll drop this thing down significantly lower if I'm trying to get shade I might bring it up a little bit higher so it all depends on you your height and your situation I like to be able to sit under the lean-to and have it clear my head. So I'm gonna go around the tree. So I've got my tag end on the camera side. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of slack. So I'm gonna go around my palm. I'm gonna come from the bottom over the top of my hand. I'm gonna hold on to it. So it's kind of sitting like this. I'm going to drop my hand, twist, and now I put my thumb and fingers through the loop. I grab this tail. And it slides down now that requires very little dexterity uh, it works great with mittens on uh, it's a quick release so when I'm done with it I pull it and I have a ridge line without any knots in it that's probably the main advantage to this type of knot the event hitch or the Siberian hitch as opposed to using a bowline all right so here it is one more time I'm gonna go around I've got the tag end on the camera side both lines are laying in the palm of my hand. I'm going to wrap the tag end around. So I've got a loop around my fingers. I'm going to come under and over and grab this tail. I'm going to hold on to the end of it. So I have a little bit of a tag on the end and slide it down the tree. Now this is not going anywhere. And again, quick release. I got a tag right here. I can pull it and I'm gone. So here's a variation of the event hitch. I'm going to tie it exactly the same way. Tighten it down to the tree. Now I've got this loop end here and this is my quick release. So I pull this when I'm done. I can take this loop and just throw a quick overhand knot in the main ridge line itself. Now what I did is, you can see I can lean on this thing. It is not a quick release anymore. Now to get it undone, I've just got to pick this through. So depending on your situation, uh, you might want a more secure knot. And you can do that just by just throwing a quick overhand knot on the loop end. All right, so this is the Avink or Siberian hitch. Uh, till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.